I'm with Eileen Conn in Southwark after a workshop on community enablers and how they might use technology. Um, it was a great day, I think, lots of conversations, but at one point there were some issues surfacing, Eileen, which we needed to probe a bit more, perhaps at two levels. One, the nature of community enabling, and secondly, about use of technology. What was it? Well, it was really interesting because I think that the exercise that you created um, of us creating a, a, a fictitious community and then looking at the way in which we might use various bits of technology surfaced some real issues. In the, groups, in the group reports, uh, what was interesting is that one of the groups suddenly was describing um, uh, the, the emergence of two community organizers in their particular neighborhood. These were not people who'd been appointed Yet all the models that we'd been talking about until that point had been about people who were appointed and employed in jobs. And, these, and, and when we were discussing it, we discovered that the two organizers that, these, that this group had produced had emerged from residents who lived in the neighborhood. And that was such a different model. It suddenly showed that we'd been too constrained in our models until that point in thinking that all we were talking about was employed people, but that we need to have as one of the models is how people emerge in neighborhoods to do the, 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 the community organizing or the community enabling, and this is actually a model. And um, in, uh, in the dis discussion that came out from that, I think you were saying that if somebody comes into um, a community with a job description, with a timetable, inevitably they will have to do things differently from those people who emerge from the community as activists. Well, that, that's, that's very true. I'm not saying that shouldn't happen because, of course, obviously that there's, there's a role for people like that. But I think that when we're looking at the way in which these things happen and which are the ways that we'd like to encourage, we need to make sure that we also include a model where it's an emergent one and not one that's about people who've been appointed. We need to look for examples where people have emerged, especially in this social media world, um, where people have got into using, as we did in this fictitious example that that group produced, um, how, how they do it. What is it that motivates them to get involved? What is it that um, they find useful that they can cope with in their particular circumstances and how they develop it? And I think that that's a, a if you remember my model of the vertical hierarchical and the horizontal peer, what came out for me so extraordinarily was that it had surfaced in a natural way in the workshop that there was a bit, of, a bit of invisibility going on that we hadn't even those of us who were aware of my theory including myself hadn't quite worked out how to address this and one of the groups did it because they produced a, a scenario where the organizers weren't employed <laughs> what they were they'd come up naturally and emergent in the neighborhood and that of course is the horizontal peer and that's what we need to look at. So it's not about them instead of the other. It's that we must always include that process and make sure that we learn about it as much as possible. Because then that gets to the, the other thing, though, that we were talking about, which is how do, we, how do we make good use and best use of the new opportunities provided by social digital media? And even in that, in, in the group that I was in, it, it reverted to type. Even though we'd spent two or three hours at that point creating these, this local neighborhood scenario, suddenly we were back to how can we just find a use for these particular technologies. Um, and I think that was the pressure of time. And that, that illustrates what happens when people are employed to do jobs because in the end the pressures of time and other targets come in, in their way. And what we really need to do is to find a way of working with people who are doing things anyway in the neighborhood. They're doing a multitude of things. And what is it that they need to do their job better, which may or may not include social technology? And somehow we still haven't cracked that. <laughs>